Um, number six, if you have the opportunity, you can move relationships offline. So this is kind of a critical step where most people fall short. So once you've built enough of a rapport and establish your credibility, you want to have you have to make the transition to an offline conversation. Remember, if it's offline, that can convert to a prospect to a client. Um, that's kind of where you want to create an environment or create an open door for them to ask you a little bit more about your business. So in having the interactions, you don't want to kind of become overwhelming for people through LinkedIn, because I've had the experience, you guys will see when you look at my LinkedIn, is that you're constantly messaging the person, even when you don't get a response. So that's not really going to, one, create a good relationship, and that's not the way to maintain um, good engagement. So if you have someone, for instance, who's seen your page, and then they reach out to you directly, hey, I'm interested in finding out a little bit more about the services you offer, then that's a great place to kind of say, oh, well, why don't you check out my calendar, select the date and time that works best for you, or here's my Calendly link, select the date and time that works best for you. I would love to talk with you more about the staffing services that I provide for per diem, short-term, long-term travel opportunities, you know, at the time that works best for you. or you know, I would love to get on a Zoom with you. Zoom would be better than just a phone call, but however you phrase it and personalize it to yourself, then you're able to kind of start the process of converting them from a prospect to a client. And then of course, number seven is if you follow the steps one through steps properly, your prospects should, open to, should be open to the idea of speaking with you offline, which is ultimately what you want. Um, sometimes it might take some time, right? Um, but you want to make sure that you're demonstrating credibility, your expertise, which is kind of what you want to highlight on your page, and your ability to provide value. So when we think about business to business relationships, which is what we do when we acquire clients for um, staffing, is you want to really focus on your pitch, your messaging, the things that you share, the things that you post really touches on what's in it for them. So an example of that would be doing employee spotlights. So for administrators and directors of nursing and hospital and healthcare systems, it's important that if they partner with a staffing agency, that they partner with someone who has happy employees, um, partner with someone who is proficient in the industry. So that's where you highlight your experience. Um, someone who's tech savvy. Tech savvy creates efficiency. Um, it's something that makes their process easier. And if you work with other agencies, that's a great spotlight as well. If you spot, if you specialize in certain specialties like long-term care or dialysis or um, dementia, or if you specialize in clinics or a specific area, those are all things that you want to make sure that you highlight on your page, as well as touch on a little bit um, in your posting. So with some of the differences with Facebook versus LinkedIn is your post shouldn't be as um, focused on being visually aesthetic as much as content. So you wanna provide good content um, you want to provide quality information. You want to highlight great things that your agency is doing in the community. If they're doing community related things, you want to highlight, you know, happy employees, um, any sort of technology that you're using in your agency. Um, those types of things that really sells the idea of as a executive of ABC nursing home oh, I see what's in it for me. That agency has this, this, and this, and this, and this. You know, they seem like they're doing this, and this, and this, and this. So that's important. As always, ultimately, your success on LinkedIn will depend on your dedication each day to following the process. So as I mentioned before, LinkedIn is a little bit more involved um, to me than Facebook. Um, so in comparison to the two, 
you really have to plan out and think through and spend time with LinkedIn. Um, I think Facebook, you can more easily follow like a calendar or a social media calendar, whereas LinkedIn, you have to be more strategic about the things that you're posting. And with all the platforms, you want to make sure that you're being consistent, um, as well as specifically with LinkedIn, you want to be consistent with your target, targeted connections and your target market. So you don't want to kind of, you're not as focused on LinkedIn um, as you will be on Facebook or Instagram to kind of build a following or to build a, um, to get likes or get just um, limited engagement as much as you want to really build quality. So you want to have, it's better to have like 10 great connections than to have 200 connections that are people all over the place. Um, so it's more quality driven versus quantity. Um, of course, with the consistent addition of targeted connections to your network and building your reputation as an authority in your industry, and this should all be highlighted on your page, you'll begin attracting a steady stream of your ideal clients through your proactive efforts. So I shared the story maybe about three years ago when we first opened up the first agency about how we were really able to use LinkedIn to get clients as has many other noses in the group. And one of the clients that we got, which was a surprise to both of us, was a client who was looking for um, chart review or HEDIS um, reviewers in New Mexico. And at that time, when I highlighted the things or the services that our agency was providing, one of the things that I highlighted was that we had HEDIS abstractors or HEDIS reviewers which was something that me and my partner had done previously. So think about that when you're thinking about things to highlight. It doesn't just have to say, hey, we provide you know, staffing services. If you have any sort of other specialties that you as the individual owner of the agency has, highlight that as well. And from us highlighting that, we received a call from um, the Human Resources Office for Anthem in New Mexico. And they were looking for someone to help them feel a need. They were having a hard time filling the position um, in New Mexico, um, and they wanted us to provide them more information. And in this instance, they actually reached out to us via LinkedIn. And, you know, we gave them our, you know, our information. We did a presentation with them, and um, things moved forward. So having that page out there also really allows you to connect with people 24 seven. And that's really with all the social media platforms, but it's kind of nicer with LinkedIn because of the messaging connection piece. It's kind of working on your behalf, even when you're not working it. And a lot of that is based around the content and information that you put out. <music>